Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of Julia Among the Stars. We're going to read the second page of Cynthia Cleveland's uh, daily logs. Crap. Lark has publicly accused me of poisoning the crew. What's that idiot thinking? He thinks that shifting the blame to me will cover his ass? Not bloody likely. I ran away so they wouldn't see my tears. I am so weak. I just wish I could punch him right in his face. Alex died, and if I'm not mistaken, Barth is involved in his death as well. To think that I wanted to get him on my side. They plan to meet outside later this evening. I need to sneak out there and find out what this shara charade is all about. Charade is all about. We are dying in here, and nobody seems to care. I wish I wasn't so helpless. So out of curiosity, what was their issue with her then? Because they really did not, at least Lark really did not like her, but... Okay, no numbers at all. Interesting. Oh, sorry. I meant E. I. O. Huh. N Something spot. Invincible? Scott White, Lieutenant Military. Everybody was told to keep writing our daily records. I guess the captain just wants to keep our morale up. But after Ambrosia and subsequent events, our expedition can't possibly be a much bigger failure. His orders have resulted in one cryo jailed, one MIA, 12 dead, and only seven of us still here. How is he ever going to explain that? So was Rachel the one that was crowd jailed? Today was uneventful, apart from the fact that we are not feeling well. I think that the last month was just too much and none of us were prepared to endure such stress. I'm really glad we have Julia on board because the ship's computer is optimistic and always boosting our mood. She let me watch some of my most beloved childhood cartoons last night. Scary how well she knows me. Or is it just listed in my personal data? Either way, these little things are what keep me going. Okay, Julia, she. Ju is Julia the one, the computer itself, the one that um, sabotaged things? Not much to do here. This planet is terribly boring. I heard that this was supposed to be our primary target. But in comparison to Ambrosia and Z Zenobia, this place is a wasteland. I was sparring with Pavel today. He's an extremely talented fighter, but it's obvious that the expedition has taken a lot from him. He seems to be losing the incredible energy he had at the beginning. Nonetheless, I can't believe it's impossible to pull a good lever on him. Always amazes me how he gets away. I've we've never been we've ne we've decided to spar one. Oh my god. We've decided to spar often to kill time. It's unlikely we will get any real task. And if anyone can benefit from this place, it's maybe only Barth. Though he doesn't look terribly interested either. Pavel was unable to spar today. Something is in the air, or we've eaten something bad. It looks like the entire crew is poisoned. Cynthia told me that she believes there's some kind of virus flying around, but Julia's analysis results are all negative. I noticed the red color on her skin, as if she had been sunburned, and she also complained about heavy stomach cramps. Strangely enough, Lee was complaining about the very same thing. Lee is getting worse. She asked me to help her as she was unable to get into her dorm. I carried her in there and brought her some nutrients. She was very thankful and I suspected that she fears she will die soon. I comforted her and told her that it's just stress and she will soon be alright. 
But then she showed me how her hair is falling out in large clumps. What the hell is this? I've never heard about anything like it, and I wonder if there is some untreatable alien, I alien illness involved. Lee has died. I'm not sure what to think about that. She was always so nice to everyone here. Why her? I got information that her samples were sent out to Julia. Not even our advanced probes laboratory can find anything. Today I don't feel well, but it's something. But it's nothing in comparison with how Lee must have felt in her last hours. We've been ordered on a strict nutrient-only diet to prevent possible poisoning. I've spent the evening with Cynthia, who believes the captain is behind this strange sickness. She's just paranoid, but I lent her my card so she can snoop about if she wants to. There's nothing she can find in our dorm anyway, so there's no harm in it. Everyone is feeling quite sick. I tried to spar once again with Pavel, but we were so exhausted, there's no reason to continue. I've noticed that the crew, or what remains of us, has split into factions fighting each other. I want to stay away from this insanity as much as possible. Captain Lark es escalated his long-standing conflict with Cynthia by publicly blaming her for poisoning us. One of his proofs was that he found out that she had been in our dorm. I wanted to say something in her defense, but Cynthia didn't let me. Is she just going to accept such a mental beating? Pavel blames the captain for not solving the situation, and that was basically the end of our meeting today. Alex has died today. Another great friend of mine is now victim of this failed mission. I spent the night with Cynthia again. She was talking about her childhood and about Rachel. I don't understand why Rachel was crowd jailed either, and ir ironically, she would be the one who could get us out of here. We're really sick now, we're really getting sick now, and I won't be able to last much longer if we don't find a cure. He killed Cynthia. I can't believe he's that insane. That's it for me. I became quite close to her these last days, and I know she was innocent. She would never have lied to me. I've spent the last three days doing nothing but man mundane things. I've been thinking a lot about Cynthia, and now I understand that we are all going to die here. I feel much worse and I know I have finally caught the sickness too. It became obvious that killing Cynthia solved nothing. Nobody is allowed to talk about that as if it would matter anyway. Today I coughed up a lot of blood. Will I survive the night? Up until today, we had only one chance to survive, return to the probe. But for some reason, Captain Lark wouldn't allow it. Now we will never get back because Barth... Kriv Krylov destroyed the Covercraft. He is going to die very soon and probably just didn't want anyone else to survive. Pavel wants to kill him, but I talked him out of it. There's no point. Not now. Without the captain's clearance code, we would never get on board Julia. And I know how close he is to Barth. Barth has died. No one is... Okay. Thanks and all, but I'm not done reading. Click here to see all available Minomanics. Great, thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. No one has left. No one is left with Captain Lark, Pavel Mead. There's not much we can do except die. Okay. So. Okay, interesting. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Okay, so we have to... Go over everything. Okay, actually, let's put all the names here. I'm not quite sure, I'm like looking at this, but I'm not sure how it's supposed to be forming. Andrew Lark again. Okay, Andrew Lark shows up like three times. <laughs> uh, Barth? Andrew Lark, fourth time? He was, the, he was the captain. Okay. 
Oh, this. Like, how is this? I don't understand how it's supposed to be... Scott White. Radiation poisoning. Andrew Lark again. So I'm assuming we are just... Uh, okay, man, this music. <laughs> we are just laying out... The probe landed on Xenophone. Kill the diaphragm. Earth Krylov. Hmm. How does this one work? Scott. Okay, there's that. Um, technically, this was two people. Constructed, has safely died from, has disappeared. Poisoning crew parted. The probe landed on Xenophone. Oh, this would probably be. Something is has safely died from has disappeared. I don't know what's supposed to be here. Oh, curiosity. Okay, and it still saves. That's the that's the one thing I want to know about. Okay, so this is kind of like if we need to go back over the events then. Enter history, gain entrance, what happened to the crew? Okay, well at the very least, I know there's something that we can do at the moment. Which is here. 
According to Cynthia's data pad, a camera should still be hidden in here. If we are lucky. It's still there. The camera no longer works, but I'm recovering its memory card. Okay, so we need to go back to the lab. Let's take it to the analytics station to see what we can get from it. I like there's no comments on her being cryo jailed. Like <laughs> they talk about it in the in the in the was it Scott's data pad? And no comment from her. <laughs> don't care. I don't know. I don't know what. Clear match with Cynthia. Oh, we're to get the locker combination. Okay. Oh, don't tell me you actually want me to figure out from that. Oh, thank God. You do the analysis for me. Great. Wonderful. Uh, 549237. 549237. Okay. So let's uh, get into Andrew Lark's locker. 52. Do I remember? 529437. Ah. Okay. I was thinking, I'm like, I think I forgot this already. 549237. Huh? Did I type in the wrong, I guess? 54-92-37. Okay, I clearly input it. There's another card lying in this locker. Oh my god. That is the station master card. We might be able to extract some really useful data with it. So, it's kind of a weird thing, like, there's this, right? But I don't see a reason why we need to leave. Go back with the Julius, I mean Rachel, up on the the probe or the ship. Oh no! No, back, 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 back. Wait, what? Oh, Mastercard. Was that bullseye? Blueprints of a high-range solar system scanner. What's that for? If we build the scanner, we might be able to leave this dreadful place. Okay. New goal. So let's go back to our logs. So. Has safely Okay, let's just here we go. The probe cause uh So blank blank has landed. What I'm trying to figure out is discovered the radiation poisoning. Oh wait, this is No sorry, this is the Geiger counter. Where's the Geiger counter? Right here. You can barely see. Has disappeared, has safely constructed. Let's get Barth here. Then he died. Radiation poisoning. Andrew Lark. Andrew Lark. Where's Scott? Okay, we got that. Oh wait, sorry. Andrew Locke here.
Oh, Alex, sorry. Totally forgot about you, dude. <laughs> Stopped responding. Land on Xenophone. The crew land on Xenophone. How do I know if I got it right, though? The crew landed on Xenophone, the probe stopped responding. Um, Lee Jung died from radiation poison. Al Alex Hinckley died from radiation poison. Andrew Lark killed Cynthia Cleveland. Barth constructed a Geiger counter. Barth discovered the excessive radiation. Barth died from radiation poisoning. Da 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 da. Like, how do I know? Is there a way to confirm this? Okay, either way. You need to, um... I'm confused. Build scanner and get out of this place. If I built... Bring a probe's workbench. Or maybe this is like back on the ship. So back here. Here go the workbench. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, what is this? To repair each circuit, you have to first study the blueprint to understand what needs to be done. As soon as you understand the goal, proceed according to the following workflow. Oh, this is a lot of instructions I'm seeing. Select the tile from the palette by clicking it. Click the square grid to place the tile. What square grid's grid? Click the square grid to place the tile in case there isn't already a tile placed. It will be replaced. What? Place the, click the place tile to rotate it. You can drag this tile around the grid to quickly change the position. To delete a tile, activate the continuous deletion and click the tile or drag the tile from the red deletion icon. For easier rotation, you can use a rotation tool. When you're done, hit the construct button. Okay. There are two different types of tiles. Functional tiles and connectors. You will always have the right amount of functional tiles because there is no substitution for them. Connectors, however, would differ from the blueprints and you will have to come up with ways to assemble the circuit with a different set, set of them. So functional tiles are those ones. Connectors are used, okay. Splitters. I mean, let's just see if I can follow this exactly. So this is now, okay, so the connectors, we don't have any straight connectors, so this is where our issue is going to come into play. How do I know these are connected? I'm looking at this. Oh no, no, come back. Okay. So, I 
I keep doing that. Come on, come back here. Okay, I think that one would be connected. So this one's gonna be the issue here. connectors left. Explore the solar system. I'm just curious about, like, what am I supposed to do with this? I wonder if this is different. Like, if this is really... No, but Scott's name doesn't show up again, so it has to be this, right? And the gun was found beside... I don't know, like, do I put all this stuff... I you know it's invalid clues or something like that. I'm really not understanding, like, we have the mind matic right? But I'm not... How do you confirm? These thought cards are correctly placed. Drop and drag thoughts to logical... Okay, so I don't think it matters. It's for something later on, okay. Well, uh, solar system... Oh, what? No. Okay, so this is where we are. What's this next step? Celestial body... Zenobia, okay. So we're gonna find out what happened... Oh no, it doesn't... Wait, did I click... I just clicked the same planet. I'm being, being silly. Elpis... Hermes, Ambrosia. What was the place where things went wrong? Was it this one, Ambrosia? I can't remember. Um, okay, hold on. Let's, uh, I need to go back just I want to I can't remember the name I know because we have a few of them that or there's really just two options I cannot remember which one I should be looking at Scott here we go so work my way backwards because I can't remember which planet where things because he's the one who talked about... Here we go. 
Another failed mission, understand why, blah, blah, blah. Oh no, not this one. Captain Lark, long standing conflict. And today's meeting. Come on, where is it? <laughs> Okay, here we go. I heard this was supposed to be our primary target, but in comparison to Ambrosia and Zenobia, this place is a waste. Oh, is this not the... What's, like, what's the planet that things went wrong? Really, really went, went wrong. Cynthia will definitely have it, because she talks about how she is so happy that she didn't have to be out there. Ambrosia ops. Oh, okay, so Ambrosia. So I think that's where we want to be. Okay, so Ambrosia. Nope, that's not that one. Where are you, Ambrosia? Here, go. Rachel, do you remember how I told you that my memory blocks were partially erased? Yeah. What about it? Well, I might have just discovered some memory clusters which contain backup data. I'm not sure if we can recover them. And I guess you want me to do the dirty work, right? Let me show you what I have. Okay, so what do we have in here? I've created a visualization of the memory clusters based upon the timeline of our expedition. Those clusters should be easy for you to piece together. The result should look like meaningful images to you. It doesn't look that complicated. Why don't you do it yourself? I lack your imagination skills. For me, all visual combinations look the same. I've just grouped them together based upon cluster modification time. I can, however, detect if the final pattern matches and lock it so you won't have to worry about that anymore. I'll give it a shot. Click on the tile to select it, then click on the other tile to swap places, use the right click for swapping through top clusters. Okay, well... Oh, what? How- I'm sorry, how is this working? So we don't know... So we don't know which one is which just yet. I'm sorry, what am I- which ones am I clicking on? Because right now, I'm... completely mismatching everything here. So I click on this. And I click on this. See, that's not what I meant to swap. That's what I'm confused about right now. I feel like a drag and drop system would make more sense. Click on the tile to select it. Click on another tile to swap places. Use right click or button for swapping through tile clusters. Okay, and this is just how we move them all together. Um, I'm so confused. The main issue I'm having right now is I'm not quite sure how I'm swapping, supposed to be swapping things. Okay, I can switch to those. Especially like switching things between, that's what's throwing me off as well. Um... Thank you. 
He wanted to click on the wrong thing. Ah, uh, what? How am I swapping these? I don't understand. Or do I just like click this and then click till I get the right thing? Okay, I think I'm okay. Oh, so that's how it's supposed to go. How do you know something is locked in place? Or do I just finish one first and then I go through the entire thing? So if like I go here... So we get the purple one. Now this can't swap anything. Okay, so we just have to... It's not like a specific memory thing has something somewhere. Alright. That helps. Um, so now the question is... Which one do I do next? not sure about. We have the big ship here. There's that. Okay, that actually might be... Okay, let's go back here. Okay, and I need to move all of these forward this way. Maybe? I don't know about that one. That one doesn't look right to me. Um, what else do we got here? This would have to be... Maybe... Wait... Oh, 
Um, image is not matching up here. No. No! Here we go. Just had it reversed around. I know I'm over time, but might as well just get this done. <laughs> Remember to unswap it. Um, all right, there's that. So, something like this, these are like blue. It actually looks about right. done so now it's just between these two here I'm way over time it's okay it's okay Last one here. Okay, so this is our oops, sorry, over here. This is our craft. Where's the This must be it. We've won a special prize. Mm -hmm. There was a blueprint among some irrelevant historical data. If you build it, we can modify Mobot to have his own personal analytic station. That sounds like a great idea. It would save us a lot of time. Let's do it then. Julia, is this data really irrelevant? I might find out what was going on if you let me look at them. I don't think so. Those are mostly routine system access logs and self-check reports. However, if you wish, I can upload them for you later. Let's build that upgrade now. Okay. Uh, I realize that I'm actually, I don't think I'm actually that badly over time. Oh god. Okay, well, if I do this, if I do this puzzle, then we will be badly over time. How do I get out? Back. Okay. So I'm gonna have to do that for next set. So I forgot second, the second set ran a little bit longer. So okay, we're not just simply on that planet. We are uncovering what exactly happened during our entire... <laughs> I guess we're working our way backwards. But either way, thank you for liking if you liked. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya!